Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cars and Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot SCCM software update point issues. Your software update point failed to sync or your WSUS service crash. And um, this is quite a common issue. And if you go to SCCM console under administration, I'm sorry, under monitoring, and then go into, it should be under um, software update point synchronizations. Usually you see um, a red errors and it will tell you that sync is fail. And, um, and if you look at the log files, the uh, WSYNC logs, it shows for fail also. So this is the second place. And also if you go to system status, component status, and if you look for WSUS, you should see all these components fail or offline. So it's a it's pretty common issues. Um, so I have a few tips that um, how to troubleshoot. So the very first thing you need to do is you want to make sure the your the um, checks the service account in SQL. Make sure there's a um, that account has um, full access. So. Let's go to the SQL console. I'm going to search for, okay, I got it here. SQL Server Management Studio. You want to open that? So that's the first step. Check service account, SQL access. And under security, we're going to look at credentials. Oops, sorry. Um, it's under logins. So my service account is Carson. I want to make sure you just right click on it and go to properties. And then under server roles, you want to make sure there's a sysadmin box is checked or selected. So you need full access to the um, SQL Server database. So that's the first thing you need to you need to check. The second thing is you want to connect to to uh, WSS. Let's connect to the WSS. I'm going to close this SQL Studio. Connecting to WSS, you want to go to servers and then go to WSS and then go to right click and then Windows Server Update Service I already connected I'm gonna so if you once you launch the um, the console and it fail or it's not able to connect you need to go to you need to connect to a server. If it fails, you shouldn't see all these um, servers here. So you right click and go to connect to servers. You want to type in your server. <clears throat> the This is the SQL servers that you're going to install um, software update point database on. So in my case here, I install software update SQL, software update database on the same SQL server as my SCCM server. So click put Carson SCCM. You can put a full qualify name or you can just put short name. Click connect. 
if the database is working and you you have full access, you should be able to connect to the data, to the um, SQL database or the Solid Update Point database. So once you check that and it is working, you need to go into the WSS pool, modify some settings there. All right, I'm going to close this out. Close WSS. You want to go IIS, then right click and go to Internet Information Service Manager. Click on the server. Click on application pools. You want to make sure you click on double. Uh, highlight WS pool and then go to advanced settings <laughs> if you are not able to connect to the WSS from the second step that I show you the second step here if you're not able to connect you won't see this W pool WSS pool um, component so let's open that oops where is it WS pools and go to advanced settings. All right, there's two places that you need to modify. The first one is the it's under rapid fail protection. and enable you want to change this to false by default it's true so by default it's true and then Next, you want to go to recycling for private memory. I suggest change it to a zero. Zero mean unlimited. And then I'll click OK. So that's the third step. And then the fourth step is you want to reset your IIS. You want to restart your IIS. <clears throat> Let's go to command prompt here. Run as administrator. Click it. Type in IIS reset. This should recycle IIS for the settings to take effect. <clears throat> All right. So step one through four has been completed. Now what you need to do is force the sync. Go to software library and go to all software updates. You want to right click and then so synchronization software updates. Like yes. <clears throat> Once you force the update, you should see um, changes in the. If you go to monitoring and then go to software update point, <clears throat> it takes a few minutes for the, um, the icons to change. It's going to change to syncing. And also, you can look at the um, the WSA sync.
this is um not sure why this one came up but uh let's look at the monitoring <clears throat> hmm let me force the sync again All right, look like it started sinking. Yep. <clears throat> so this will take a few minutes to complete. So if you have any questions with WSS issues, subcoded points not syncing, um, patches you're not able to collect to import or download any patches, um, you know, feel free to ask me the put in your question in the comment section. And if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My channel will cover SCCM, software update deployment, um, applications deployment, Windows 10 deployment, Office 365, Azure, and a lot of um, a lot of uh, Microsoft uh, cloud solutions will be will be in my YouTube channels as well. Thank you for watching and have a good day.